Okay, let's check out some of these examples. Let's start with this one uh, near Guadalupe, California. And a few images here, zoomed out view, and something potentially tracing a path along the coast. We will take a look, jump over here in Google Earth. So here we are in Guadalupe. And it's, I believe, this area right here. So right here, uh, this is the one in the thumbnail, and it's got a linear component here uh, right along this path. And then possibly, possibly continuing, well, this is not collinear, but a possible similar thing there, curving that one. And I guess we should consider it alongside all the other lines in the area like this, that. So some of this, if not all of it, is certainly uh, natural water erosion. I mean, it is the beach. It takes quite a bit of weathering moment to moment. So um, and then again, could be differential erosion. Uh, it is collinear here. Um, could just be a long natural uh, Excuse me, I lost my train of thought for a second. Um, could be a long natural geological ribbon or, I mean, a layer or, you know what I mean? Just natural rock strata or whatever. And then up here, we have this gap here, or what I call a gap. Just uh, This curve here is just slightly awkward to me. And then this same similar thing here, just a kind of almost clean or uh, actually it's pretty hard to tell from the image actually, but you can't really get, get a great feel for it. But uh, it's, again, it's the idea of something like doing a number on a stretch of coast and then like exiting out a path like that. And then possible similar thing here. Um, possible like chunk, 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 like uh, something taking bites out of the coast as well, like as far up as up here, it's possible. Um, it doesn't really look quite as artificial, but uh, this, this line here, it's kind of weird. Again, this one, like possibly like something exiting out this uh, mm, stretch of coast. We do have like natural rock layers here, assuming they're natural. And so it could just be that. All right, let's move on to uh, another area of California. Uh, San Simeon, we've checked out this area in a couple uh, a video or two back, and we've got the linear ravines and the uh, possible straight uh, something, again, on a larger scale in this case, uh, scraping across the coast, potentially, and then these linear ravines, and then what I want to highlight in this video is this uh, faint underwater path or potential path. So let's check it out. So it is right here. And can't really see it in this photo, but uh, if we check out the 2007 photo, we will be able to see something. And the edge of it here, and then possible other edge of it on this side, just nearby. Um, so it could just be a natural feature, or it could be modern dredging or fishing or something. And unfortunately, this little glitch is obscuring the rest of it, but possible continuing here. Um, 
yeah, I mean, this is where it would be continuing, and we see kind of a faint line there. Tough to say, very tough to say. Uh, but uh, that's a possibility. Um, it's uh, pretty common to see stuff like that. Uh, we'll see one in Spain as well, just uh, um, some kind of line underneath the, along the coast. Um, yeah, so that's that for that. And uh, this is in Laguna Beach, California. And the, uh, showed you this once before, but I want to show you this pipe nearby. Uh, like we were looking at the pipes sticking out of Scotland that are pretty, pretty strange. And uh, so here's this um, thing. I think it's only visible in the 2016 photo. And I can't really see it. There, there it is. So it's right here. And get rid of this. 2015 is covered up. Here we see faint, or I mean, uh, only some of it is exposed. Just depends on the season, I guess. For the most part, it's buried under sand. Uh, here you can kind of see it in 2003, although it's very blurry. Uh, okay, 2015. Yeah, so this is the only photo that we get a good look at it. Uh, so is what it is. And then just down the way we have, uh, let's see, where was it? I think it's over here. One of these spots. I walked over here and there's like a big long pipe sticking out of the, uh, or just um, jutting out into the ocean. Let's see either this spot or this spot maybe. Sorry, give me a second. I just saw it like while I was preparing this video. This could be a potential weird line here. Maybe, maybe natural. But uh, gosh, I know it's here somewhere. Right here, maybe. Oh, crap. Should have place marked it. Might be right here. This is bad viewing right now. Oh, sorry. But at any rate, there's, I saw it with my own eyes. There's a big long pipe just like jutting out about this far into the ocean. And uh, it's just like a segment of pipe that's like non-functional. So I was just wondering why that's there. And it seems pretty old when I was looking at it. Okay, skip that stuff. Tartar sauce, oh well. Okay, and... Um, Let's, this is actually kind of similar, this linear feature, somewhat similar to this one in Australia. So it's this, uh, this path here. I've showed this once or twice, and you can kind of see the edges of it there and there. Oh, sorry, mouse foul. And uh, let's hop over there in Google Earth. So it's on the east coast of Australia, and it's right here. So there's this um, this wider gap here, uh, slightly wider, with a bridge over it. Let's look at this 360 photo. So a nice aerial view here. Um, and we've got this gap here with this bridge. And then 
the the path I'm talking about is like goes like this and then it keeps going across there so it could be natural um, there's other straight lines here too like see these these awkwardly straight cracks like this one and that those bug me a little unless that's like an image glitch or something um, or just happens to be a naturally straight crack like yeah, yeah it, might, it might be natural uh, slightly fishy but hard to say just from this one image okay so yeah so some kind of path here potentially going across and let's look at it in a few different historical photos path continues and so it could be subduction like a type of tectonic activity or it could be um, uh, what did I say uh, a fault line or some type of seismic thing but it's like right through here okay so let's look at it uh, couple different images right through there and yeah can't remember one of these was fairly clear uh, one of these historical images there we go that's a good one See, kind of well-defined almost, this path here. Coloration, or the contrast isn't great, but you kind of see it. And any number of explanations. This is one you've seen before if you've watched all my videos, so I apologize for the repetition. It's just one of my favorite examples, and it uh, uh, it's appropriate for this episode, so... Sorry, it's a little aimless, my uh, clicking around for the right image. Alright, well, there may be something here, and it may be natural, or it may be artificial path of some kind of weird something. Okay. Maybe even continuing across here, potentially. Who knows? Okay. And then there's plenty of interesting stuff in, on the Australian coast. I spent a good deal of time over here, but things are already pretty long. Potential examples of linear ravines here. See these? Uh, it's just, I mean, they're kind of short, so can't, maybe you can't make too much out of them. But, uh, I don't know, looking a little awkwardly straight there. Maybe similar thing here. Um, maybe even like this here. And remember, we're not just talking about the coast, we're talking about entire landscapes that have been artificially sculpted. So um, for, for whatever reason, I just took an interest in the coast and spent a good deal of time along the coasts. And then we have, uh, I'm still considering the uh, clean swept portion of coast um, angle or possibility, the, uh, the artificial bays and stuff like that. So uh, still consider uh, a consideration for me. And we have the, the streaks, which would be artificial sculpting as well, if that's what that is. And We got gap or tool pass through. Maybe. Could be natural. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. 
in Peru near Quita Sombrero. So here we have this linear thing and possibly some path up the hillside here. So let's go take a look. And here we are, a couple other examples to go over as well. So what I'm referring to in the image is this here, this linear path more or less, and just looks a little abrupt to be like a natural crumbling of material. Like see how abrupt that is? Ugh, it just, uh, that's just beyond my threshold of uh, uh, suspicion. Like, I, uh, I'm tempted to say it's natural, but it's it just hits that point for me where it's like, okay, that's a little, a little goofily straight, a little goofy, a little, a uh, little much. And then up here, this would be the idea of. Uh, something like sculpting up, like exiting the coast or entering, uh, and then continuing up the, uh, um, the land. And also these ridges, these ringlets around this like little mountainside thing, I would question those as well. Possible, who knows what kind of activity this is. Maybe it's mining or something, but, uh, Kind of a strange area. Like this little ridge here, that's just very strange. Like it seems to be a natural feature of this, uh, whatever type of hill this is, but then it like just veers off and then goes linear for a while. <laughs> like what? Why? Um, so, I mean, like, I could imagine this being like a, a road or a path, but like this little portion right here, what is that? Is that part of this or is that part of this? Like, um, again, the idea of features awkwardly bleeding into different types of features as a, as a kind of um, told you so, or a kind of uh, um, a blatant flub that's, that we're meant to catch on to. So that's, that's possible. This stuff, likely modern. So I don't want to focus on that too much. All right, so here's another example down the way a bit of uh, something possibly continuing up the, the land here. And let's get rid of these. So we have, again, kind of a seam here. Could be natural. Zoom out a little bit. A similar thing here could be natural and then this kind of uh, some some type of path here could even be a foot trail I guess but it seems to continue like up here and then I kind of lose it but it's a uh, and that could even be natural as well I guess this thing here this that but these possible gaps or uh, natural cracks may be tough to say. This, and eh, too short to say anything definitive. Here we have, um, I guess it would be like a, a dike or natural dike, apparently, or most likely, like just a linear-ish thing in the rock or fin of rock. And here's another fin right here next to it. And then we see it kind of continuing here. So uh, some of these linear gaps could just be uh, eroding rock uh, dikes or something like that. Or, you know what I mean? These fins of rock. So, or alternatively, if this is artificial, this, this over here could potentially be artificial as well. Seems like a continuation of whatever that is. So that may be the case. And 
what else? A couple more over here. So these maybe like this here it's possible uh, natural cracks maybe okay what about this so I'm envisioning something like just uh, blazing along the coast and coming out this path like with high technology maybe even something here like a linear something even some of these like road things like this maybe even these like this some of this may not be modern but it may be so probably shouldn't dwell on it too much All right, and a couple more examples to point out. Just down the way a bit more. Okay, over here. So this little maybe. Kind of abrupt. Let's look at the historical photos. Kind of an abrupt seam in the rock. Could be any number of things, including natural. It's a little stark, but again, it's just one photo, and I've seen cracks in rock before that didn't make me think they were fake, so it may just be a natural crack in the rock. Okay. And then, was I saying something over here, maybe? So this, again, maybe like something, and then out this way, or in this way. So this path here, the orientation of it, possibly just due to the, the natural water flow or possibly due to like something doing machining maneuvers. And you even see like a little gap right here. Uh, so that might be related. It's a dove call. Okay, so I think that's it for this stretch of Peru. Yeah, okay. And Again, the idea of these uh, artificially swept coastlines or bays, these little bays, just in nice, nice neat little uh, sweeps. It's, uh, it's still, still a maybe for me, hence the maybe in the title of this topic, uh, artificially coastlines maybe. So artificially sculpted coastlines maybe. I could even see these being like little little bites or little chunks taken out of the coast. Potentially. Tough call. Okie dokie. Let's move on to the next examples. And just at a certain zoom level, you see like the all these little uh uh like it could just be the direction the uh the beach is facing or something like that. Um let's jump to Australia's real quick because we see that quite a bit in Australia uh, like the uh, these like nice clean curves like your like one two three four another one another one and many little and one more time, probably not the last time, but I'll say that could certainly be natural. But just all these little scooplets, scoop, 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 sweep. Potentially, potentially maybe. Something to consider. And again, like the, some in some cases, the abrupt end to the uh, um, to the sweep uh, 
filibuster noises. Okay, and more potential scoopy sweeps. Just so you get the idea, sweepy scoops, sweep, sweep, sweeps. Okay, so now let us return to our images and what's next? Yonaguni, shouldn't take long here. So here's Yonaguni, place marks on, and I don't have a whole lot here, but this is where that uh, image is. This is certainly a net, or I mean a, a modern dam of some kind, or, or what, whatever you call it, just to break the, or uh, shore break, or whatever you want to call it. Now this line, that could be related to this, or it could be there previously. Let's check that one out. Oh, there's a pier right here, so that's a former pier path right here. Uh, yeah. So what about this guy? We've got stuff like this, potentially natural, but potential some kind of path here. And historical photos, not much help, unfortunately. And then similar stuff uh, like here, and certainly this, but... Uh, can't really see where it joins up because of the cloud. Um, maybe whales here or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, angle this angling thing. So this is not natural because it angles like that, but maybe it's like a point of access for, for this beach right here, I suppose. And maybe another thing here along this path. So even like something, some kind of linear aspect along this coast here. And okay, so there's that possibility. There's this one could be naturally eroded rock just along a crack or something. Or it could be this weirdness, artificial sculpting and know about this could be anything I think that's it for Yonaguni for the most part and here we see possible or likely natural uh, gouges or whatever natural erosion or potential artificial sculpting like taking bites out of it or whatever but the the image rendering does tend to warp coastlines due to the elevation change a little bit so uh, you can't necessarily trust every little detail you see on these uh, satellite photos just because it's stitched in a, uh, not entirely uh, foolproof way even stuff like this little angle divot here <coughs> bothers me just a bit then again, there's heavy modern work in the area, so it could be that. And uh, yeah, let's leave it there, I guess. Venezuela, one more look here. Already been here several times, but one more for old time's sake. I believe right up here, yes. So northern coast of Venezuela, kind of looking like a, a swept rainbow thing here. And just um, some awkward angles like this, this angle. And um, just striking me as potentially phony, like these lines here and stuff. So. Not sure, I think some of these lines are recent stuff, so. But these uh, nice clean arcs, potential beach ridges, or potential mimicry of beach ridges. So, could be anything. This looked roughly the same since 1969. 
it's nice clean angle, hasn't changed. It's 2003, nice clean sweep here potentially. All right, so whatever's. Okie doke, that's enough of that. And actually it reminds me, I don't know if I'll be able to find it on the fly, but the, uh, the angles here, like the almost semicircle, like from here to here, it reminds me of, I think, Melbourne, Australia, I think. So um, let me see if I can find that real quick. I kind of doubt I will be able to on the fly. But remember, we have lines like this along the Nuller bore, potential either former coastline or clean sweep of some kind. Eh, hard to say. Okay, I did find it. So this is, I don't know what city this is. Lake, Lake Hamp. So if I remember correctly, this is a mining area. Uh, I'm remembering that. Uh, you know, I may be thinking of a different area, but this area is either heavily worked over or just modern, modern work. So probably modern work or certainly uh, a good amount of it. But this, uh, this little bay here, these angles like this and this are just looking cartoonish to me. Let me get a different view here. So even right here and right here, like kind of similar, similar deal. Just like, mm, very awkward, um, like straight, curve and then another curve and then straight and then another curve and then straight so uh, same thing here <sighs> and it, it's right in that middle ground of well I could see how that would be natural and well I could see how that might be artificial and possibly this dark streak here indicating like some type of path out here and I don't think this is modern work shaping these coastlines. It just looks like the way it is, like the natural headland, you know? It doesn't look like an artificial headland. Um, and then, of course, we would look for some type of exit path right here if it's like the artificial sculpting deal. And right, right here, maybe not seeing anything super definitive. Possible angular stuff here. Okay. Uh, Gap where tool move through. I, I guess I just mean like through here. Like the tip of this seems like cut off like along here or here. Just like a uh, some type of path there maybe. Re uh, realistically it's probably many paths. So let's look at some historical photos and see if we can see any images with good contrast. Maybe some entry and exit paths along these awkward straight things here. So this kind of getting a, a good look. This almost looks like consistent with what I'm talking about. Although it could certainly be modern dredging, I guess. Even natural uh, flows of the rock. But here we're kind of seeing something like this, like And then this would just be the waves, obviously. Okay. And uh, let's get some other images. 2017, not a great uh, picture. Five. Mm. Mm, nothing super definitive, I would say, but just the overall shape of it and look of it, even like over right here, like a curve and then nice and straight. See that? So the curve, nice and straight, and the, the angular, chunky, weird shape of this almost looks like a, 
like a, a a woman's hair silhouette, like a cartoon, like I'm like eyes, nose, mouth, like uh, uh just uh, for scale. Uh, so like I don't know the outline of like a cartoon character's hair or something like that. Just jagged and awkward, about right here. Um, Potentially even straight stuff here. Natural rock could be possible paths here, like although yeah, very difficult to say what's natural and what's a path. And I think that's by design, if it is sculpted at all. So they sculpt it in a way that is not too obvious, but it's kind of obvious. And they do that deliberately. That's my take on it, at least. Okay, so let's skip out of this area. Venezuela, Korea Island, Kiribati. So these chunky coastlines. And here's a, a photograph from presumably an airplane aerial photo. And yeah, we see the angular chunkiness of the coast. Here's another place very similar, Beru Island, Kiribati, these chunky little islands. So we're gonna go to Kiribati and review these islands real quick. Um, forgive me, I'm having trouble finding this. I don't know where it's trying to take me. Uh, I really don't know where Kiribati is. Kiribati, uh, Beru Island. There we go. Okay, so it's uh, over here, like up northeast of Australia, I guess. And so here's one of them, Beru Island. And it's these are like reef islands. This is a reef area. And fish ponds here, apparently. These angular little uh, baylets here. Again, like straight and then curved for a while. And then nice little straight uh, edge to it. So there's that to consider. Many... Uh, Many examples we could consider. Possible angular stuff here as well. Just a little uh, uh, awkward like path. You can even see something like that like there. Water path or whatever it is. And just these random like, what is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So even this like exit path, entry path, or something. And then... All kinds of examples here. This one, I think I have a still image of this one. I keep saying still. All images are still. It's redundant. Okay. Um, And here's the angular aspect. Like, see how weird this looks? Like, like these streaks here, these streaks, this is like looking artificial. Like, see the abrupt end to it there? Just like a little rainbow sweep. And then the, uh, the straight edges here, just awkward, awkward, awkward. Here. And plenty more we could uh, highlight. Oh, like this heart at the heart at the end of a line. No, this isn't a good example. This is just a piece of reef, I think. Possible tool path here. Yeah, similar thing. Just like exit path or entry path. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at one of these other islands. Um, 
angular mini bays. Again, all of these islands are fairly angular like this with these like herky jerky, even some angles there. Um, angular little mini bays, yeah. Awkward little even possible gap there. Here's the uh, heart at the end of a line thing. And what am I looking at? Oh, here's a good, this is almost like, it's upside down, but it's almost like a rainbow sweep, like a little one, like I guess that could be natural, but it resembles the, the kind of arc sweep technique that we see. And all these heart at the end of a line patterns or what have you. Just these awkward patterns here. So if it were just this, like right here, I would say, okay, that's probably a fishing trap. But since there's like all this weirdness as well, and then the uh, the miscellaneous other patterns and just like straight stuff and anything else. Yeah, like there's too many different little weird variations on it, on the pattern. Like just this, this is like nothing. It's just, but it appears to be of the same form of whatever that heart at the end of a line thing is. Here we've got a little angle here. So check that out. Like, possibly. So we could uh, go through all these islands, basically the same story on all of these islands. Uh, very similar look to them. The uh, mechanical little mini bays and uh, what else? Angular bay. Here's another heart. See, that one's just chilling by itself. Um, so pattern soupy, there's, and there's too many of these like to even place mark them all. Uh, this one's especially chunky and artificial looking. Pretty awkward. And it it's, would just be more of the same if we looked at all of the islands. But here's a couple more. These are more pronounced like these. I could see these being fishing traps or something. Let's measure one of them real quick, just for fun. Okay, 132 feet across. Might be overkill width for a fishing trap. Maybe not, I don't know. 80 feet for that one. Okay, interesting. And then maybe even this line here. Okay, let's go to uh, is Korea Island nearby. Pretty sure it is. It's one of these. Yeah, so this one got a Nice sweep and then kind of a straight bit there. And again, these little stretches of what I'm calling machined coastline or sculpted. Just awkward. See this? I'm not sure which which is which, but one of these looks like a gap of some kind. One of these linear features. This very linear thing there. Okay, cool. And any more heart at the end of the lines? Possible exit path here, like that. Oh, 
All right. And why don't we finish this video with some more uh, hard at the end of the lines from a different area? Let's see, what island are we on now? I don't think this is Baru Island, is it? No, this is. It's not telling me. Okay, I'm not sure which island this is. So I don't think we saw these particular hard at the end of the lines is already, but. Yeah, these many faint, awkward hearts. Are these all roughly the same size as the others? This one's 150 feet. Heart shapes, many of them. Discontinuous gap there. Another one here. Pretty. Okay, and let's compare those to uh, um, this other, and basically the same story on all these islands. So there you have it. So let's go back to our images and Baru uh, Island. Yeah, showed that. Showed that one. I think. I'll skip this one for now. Uh, let's go to. Bear with me, I'm just going to zoom through all these images to get to these hard at the end of the lines. There we go. North Gigante Island. So let's check that out. So compare those ones we we're just looking at in Kiribati to these lines and hearts in North Gigante Island, the coast there. So let's go look at that. And what do we got? So here it is in the Philippines somewhere, blah, blah. And we've got these lines and squiggles of some kind. Yeah, like sometimes connected to straight lines, sometimes connected to curved lines. And this little heart thing, let's measure these, see how they compare. I think these are smaller. Yeah, it's 48 feet. Okay. Where else we got up here? We have all these patterns. So basically just kind of a shit show. And we do have heavy fishing in the area, so that's noteworthy. Um, so it makes me uh, skeptical of my own hypothesis that this is like artificial gibberish, but um, Yeah, so I would say it's a 50-50 chance at this point that it's modern versus like like modern fishing stuff versus old artificial weirdness. We have these faint rectangles in the area everywhere, which could be fishing traps or something. Uh, all these guys, these hard at the end of a line, dealy bobbers. But see how they, they all have like different idiosyncrasies to them? Like there doesn't appear to be a... Uh, uh, consistent technique like this seems f fairly reasonable um, maybe they just do it by hand each time and kind of eyeball it something like that like some of these like just this is like a half-assed attempt or I guess it might be functional and it's hard to tell how shallow this water is possible something there Okay, let's, uh, okay, the South Gigante Island nearby. So we've got these, these lines here, like this gridish stuff. See how well defined that is? Just like a, looks like a little toy maze. That's what that looks like to me. Just see all these little squiggles? I don't know that these are natural entirely. Certainly this one is artificial of some kind, just what it is. Okay, pretty good contrast in this image, so let's stick on this one. Uh, these patterns are like squiggles, which are like just a slightly different variation than the uh, 
or of the heart at the end of a line thing. Here we have a long linear thing of some kind. Possibly related to this pier, this line. Okay. And straight line. Could be anything, dredging or whatever. Yeah, the, the heavy presence of the, the fishing in the area is makes it difficult to come to strong conclusions on this particular area. But we do have this uh, the squiggle component. See this? This isn't like the traditional fishing trap we're, we're talking about just over here. So we've got these hard at the end of the lines over here, which could be fishing traps, yeah. Uh, and then these like, this is like, uh, gibberish almost, I would say. All these rectangles and etchings in the surface. Uh, that almost looks like the number 20. Okay. And just random circles and stuff. So, pattern soup again. Same deal. Circles and shapes. Okay, so now we have, right, right nearby, we have uh, uh, circles. So is this fishing traps as well, or is this more pattern soup gibberish? I'm gonna go with pattern soup gibberish on this. More over here, and I suppose these could be natural crap. They could be, yeah. Look at that, I mean, could be any number of natural, even biological uh, patterns there, but uh, Yeah, it's uh, weird patterns, mostly, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna go with weird. See, this is like a, a derpy um, mimic, or a derpy variation on the hard at, hard at the end of a line pattern, or the, uh, the fishing trap looking type pattern. So this is just like a sloppy, um, like gibberish variation on it. And then this, of course, these random shapes and angles. And then, yeah, similar deal all over here. Okay, so that's that. And why don't we do one more example for this video? That would be Palau Aki. in Indonesia, and I believe what we are looking for is this guy. This is, so I have a, an image of this one that I wanted to go over, and so let's get a feel for the island first. Indonesia, like up above, uh, up above Australia here, so up here, and Let's see. So a couple different versions of the same thing. So in this little island, we've got uh, like this little island and then this line here or path of some kind, which may be like the natural flow of the, like the way the, the water current flows off of the island, like it just hits the coast and then just kind of keeps going like that. Or alternatively the other way, uh, there's some kind of uh, differentially colored component here along some kind of path with the coast here and possibly on this side as well over here. So that, that look is similar to uh, what's just over here, which is... Um, on this larger island, there's this bit of coast and then this very awkward looking stretch here. So I would say this is not natural. So either it's a, um, a pier of some kind 
or uh, like a fishing apparatus or any number of modern uh, marine activities going on here, or it's some type of artificial uh, remnant of a path, of like sculpting maneuver of some kind. Let's look at these past images. It's just looking like linear stretches of rock, maybe even like a, another path here. See the possible edge of it there. So uh, it's it's awkward. Pretty good look there, just like lines of rock with a bear. The middle in between them is bare. So um, some type of high tech, I don't know, plasma ball, just like, you know what I mean? Some type of device just cruising through the landscape. And let me see if I have any other place marks in the area just while I'm here. Wide linear gap. Maybe, I mean, maybe this too as well, like, like these, and uh, even this, maybe this, <coughs> and uh, okay, so what else? So there's this thing right here, looking pretty awk awkward, and I wonder what this is. See, now this reminds me, uh, I'll have to do another brief tangent now. Um, I'll get to it in a second. But uh, so we've got this look here, this strange look, and then, and then like as if something was sculpting this coast, and then it's like a straight um, little bit here. Possibly, if I'm seeing it correctly. Oh, no. That's, this little shoreline is new, it looks like. It looks like it's meandering, so. Oh, interesting. It, like, it looks like straight and angular over there, but then it shifts over time. So now it's like over here. So that may be like just some rock, like some large boulder, which is slowly being moved by the current and me uh, migrating along the coastline and it happens to have a uh, an abrupt edge to it or something like that could be um, I'm referring to this like straight thing here which is over here in f past photos so like that may be a different feature who knows okay um, possibly like sweeping around the coast here and gap from toolpath. I think I mean like this, like that. It's possible. Okay, and there's probably some other stuff we could find in these islands, but uh, I mean this little one nearby, just over here. These streaks are striking me as somewhat awkward, like something just didn't, like went around uh, in a circle, more or less, like a little oval around this island. And gosh darn it, now my, my peri, what's it called, periodelia, perioidea, like seeing patterns in randomness, I'm seeing like a, like an eye here, like, uh, like pupil, and then the, the almond shaped eye here. And then, like, this looks like the head of a velociraptor or something. So, <laughs> so uh, again, the idea that whatever's behind this has a sense of humor. So maybe they just wanted to draw something that looks like a velociraptor head from above. That's very possible. I mean... <laughs> it's, uh, it's out there, obviously, but... And these streaks, hard to tell if they're natural or not. Um, just linear, or more or less path-like paths of some kind. So I don't know what this is. Could be modern stuff, and unfortunately the image rendering is a bit of a pain in the butt right now, the blurry spots. But it does look like there's some modern activity on the island. 
these these uh, lines in this direction. They may be there prior to the uh, modern activity. Okay, so anyways, uh, over here what I was going to say was this little thing, where did it go? You only see it in like this image, I think. Like right here, this reminds me, so we've got this path here, and then we've got this little thing here. So keep this little thing in mind, and then let's go to Starbuck Island, wherever that is. I just remember it by name. Okay, so it's in Kiribati where we were looking earlier in this video. And this one's famous for having like a, uh, this uh, path like thing here. And then this guy just chilling here. So whatever this is, <laughs> and then we've got these paths as well. So this would be a good example of potentially artificial, artificially sculpted coastline. Like see, I w if I were looking at only uh, this portion of the um, streaky coast, I would say, oh, these are like natural streaks uh, or natural coastal uh, water activity. But then we see like one of them kind of just like morphs into a, uh, a long track of some kind, just like awkwardly and kind of discontinuously or continuously, but it um, it's discontinuous with like these streaks. So we have these these streaks along this way, which we would assume are natural, except then this one in particular is just like right, right around here, it seems to kind of become some type of track. So and then we have this guy chilling out here. I don't know what that is. Maybe one of these implementation devices which did the sculpting. That's a possibility. I mean, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. But uh, it just, eh, it's not identical. Let's measure it. But it slightly resembles what we were just looking at in Palau Aki, about 90 feet across. Okay. Whatevers. Place marks. I think I already did a tour of this area earlier. Um, Okay, but let me go back to Palau Aki. Yeah. Oh crap. Palau. And so yeah, just check out this thing one more time. Just chilling here. Some type of remnant of something. Could be. Let's measure it. The other one was 90 feet across, more or less, and this one is um, only about 40 feet across, 30 feet. Okay, so, I mean, not that there can't be different sizes of these devices, whatever they are, if if that's what the, these even are, but... All right, so um, I guess let us end this video with... Uh, so keep this in mind, this... Uh, these kind of rails or edges of a path, like um, like a rails on the edge of, yeah, I mean, just repeating myself here, Ra uh, bare spot and then flanked by two uh, ridges of rock. So keep that in mind and then let's go to Australia, near, kind of nearby, I guess, like we were just looking like right here and then right around right here on the Australian coast. We have something very similar, um, and I would like to highlight that and end with it. So this is it, and it uh, it's more apparent in some photos than others. I think this is the best one, uh, like rails of rock, and then bare, like bare middle, and then this kind of looking like a well-defined, like a narrower path in the middle here. So that may be Petrified Riverbank. We do see a river system nearby, so it could be that. Um, or uh, any number of things, the, the natural bedrock or something, but it just looks very awkward. It looks like the path of something which came in and just like, like took a chunk out of the, the coast there. And uh, I think in the next video we'll do, uh, we'll start with this example and then 
cruise along the coast and look at some similar examples to this one. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the thin bare spot there and most visible in this photo. Okay, so we will leave it there and then pick up, pick up uh, right here in the next video. All right, thank you for your time.